So welcome to my tutorial. Today we will see an integration of Elementor. We are going to build uh, this navigation menu that is interacting with, uh, with the default Elementor carousel. In this case we are using image carousel. I get this question a lot or I see it over internet how to do it. So I decided to create this video for everybody to be able to understand and uh, and use it in your designs. So let's dive into it. Okay, so I have created this design. Uh, there is a, a slider, image carousel. Uh, I only have the free version of Elementor here on this website, so I don't have other choices, but if you have the pro version, you can use other of the carousels. It should work with uh, with any of them. And uh, I have created this uh, this design that we are going to use as the navigation. The round circle is an icon, but I'm sure you will have a different design. This is just to uh, just to showcase the integration. And um, and yeah, I'm not promoting iPhone here. I'm just I just just thought it would be some nice example. As you can see now, it's not not exactly working. I will show you how to how to make the navigation navigation work and interact with the with this carousel or slider. So we are going to need some uh, custom code, some uh, uh, some uh, CSS and JavaScript. You can use a child theme if you don't know what it is or it just scares you. You can use this plugin. I would normally use the, the child theme, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using uh, this custom CSN and JS, which allows you to very simply add a CSN and JS code. So let's first add the, the our CSS, add CSS code. I'll put just CSS slider. And I'll paste here the code. I will leave it in the, the code in the description. What it does uh, is that this is a slide nav uh, will be the class that we are going to assign to the navigation. And just saying that when you hover over it, it will show show your mouse as a pointer, like on a like if it was a link. And uh, this uh, this part is saying that the active uh, navigation item will have a border of one pixel and uh, this color around it with uh, rounded uh, corners. It's as simple as that. Now we just need to, to save this and go back to Elementor. And now we need to give these uh, respective classes to each of uh, our navigation items. So yeah, again here it was uh, we call it, I call this the slider now, but you can you can use some other uh, names. And for the first time, I will also add the active because it will be the defaultly active one. And for the rest of them, I will just quickly give them the class. So now, if I if I save it and I preview the the website you can see that the first item has the border on it as it uh, as it's the active one but the interaction is not working yet because we need to we still need to add our uh, javascript slash jquery code uh, also add this uh, put this code to the description so we go back to to our plugin and add JavaScript code this time. You can delete all this. I'll paste my code here. So I will briefly explain what, what it does so you can modify it for your use case. So this first uh, first line is only saying that uh, for this to happen only after everything is loaded because what it does is that it's connecting to the swiper class that is uh, used by Elementor to do to manage all the sliders. So we are waiting for this to load so that we can connect to it. 
So here we are doing exactly that. We grab my slider, which I'm going to assign to my carousel. I'll explain why later. And uh, the swiper container, which is defaultly uh, put there by Elementor. So we like we grab this this instance so we can interact with it. And we do that here. So this is saying that if we click on the, on the navigation item number zero, it will go to the first slide. To the, and if you click on the number two, we will go to the second slide, etc. as we want. And this second part is saying that if uh, if this uh, slider, if this instance of uh, swiper is uh, defined, so that we don't get any errors if it hits before it's loaded, we will uh, remove uh, every time there is some there is some interaction. We will remove the active class from the navigation items, all of them, and then we put it, we give it to the one that is currently active, which we do based on we, we select the slide and the number that the slider is uh, going to. So together it will give, for example, slide uh, one, which we are using here, and we are going to assign it to our items right now. So I will need to give the ID of slide and respective number to all of them and my slider to the to the slider. So why I'm giving the class my slider to the to this uh, to my slider is because to avoid some collision if you have more multiple sliders on your uh, on your page to tell that you want to interact exactly with this one. That's it. So my slider and to every single of these now we can I need to give the, the ID so I will do it really quick so it's uh, zero you don't see the border here because I didn't reload the, the elementor side so it didn't load our custom custom code but uh, let me check it I I saved this one and now if I reload the front page it will be already there and you can see the navigation is working and you can also if you go if you are sliding through the through the items it's changing the, the selector So this is it. I hope we will be able to modify this code for your for your desired design and feel free to send me the final product of what you achieved with this. So have a great day and see you in a future video. Bye.